Uh, thank you, members of the media, for your time. Uh, we have uh, our team announcement today for the match uh, against Portugal, and I will hand it over to our coach. We'll announce the run-home team, followed by the floor will be open for questions and answers. Thank you. Yeah, Bulvanaka, um, uh, the following Fijians team to play Portugal. Number one, Ronnie Maui. Number two, Sam Matavesi. Number three, Luke Tangi. Number four, Iso Nasilasila. Number five, Temu Maya Napanua. Number six, Meli Deranalangi. Number seven, Lavani Botia. Number eight, William Mata. Number nine, Frank Lamani. Number 10, Vilimani Botitu. Number 11, Minaya Hambosi. Number 12, Josua Tuisova. Number 13, and Captain Wasea Nayatha Levu. Number 14, Celestino Ravutumanda. And number 15, Sirelli Mangala. That's the starting 15. Reserves, number 16, Tavita Ikinaveri. Number 17, Peña Ravai. Number 18, Masaki Dongi. Number 19, Tiawaru Thiri Kiatavita. Number 20, Albert Tuisui. Number 21, Penny Matawalu. Number 22, Tetitala. And number 23, Yusuf Masi. That's the team to play Portugal. All right, now the floor is open for question and answers. <laughs> yeah, so obviously we've had some outstanding training. Uh, training sessions and players have put their hands up and also there's been a few bangs and bruises after the last match so uh, the boys that have come have really earned their spots so looking forward to seeing them play against Portugal. Yeah, it was not his first, he's played for, he's the first game of the World Cup but he's uh, he's put his hand up at the, uh, during training, he came in uh, after, the, after the injury, he's done really well, asked, uh, done everything we've asked of him and uh, he's getting a shot this weekend. So it looks like you've uh, rewarded uh, some of uh, the players as well, uh, maybe starting here, Marcy, Benz, uh, along with uh, Benny, would be an to get some game time as well. Um, what, uh, what's the reason behind it? Uh, I, I, I think they've, they've earned their spots. They've gone out and the boys have trained, as a 33, they've trained really well right from the beginning. And so they've earned that spot and their chance to... Have, have, a, have, a, have, a, have a start this weekend or big, they will come off the bench. So they've been really good. There's been outstanding uh, performances at training. Um, there's also been a couple of bangs and bru uh, bumps and bruises within the team. Uh, uh, tough game, <laughs> the last one as well, to coming through there. So it was a combination of those factors. So is this for St. serious? For. Uh, he's got a. So he's got. It's not serious, but he's got a hamstring strain. So. Um, hopefully, he'll be back uh, available next week. Uh, we, he's going through all the protocols at the at the moment, but it's not a it's a it's a hamstring strain, but not uh, not a serious one. West, well, um, as you know, it's Fiji Day weekend back at home, uh, and uh, we have a crucial match as well uh, against uh, Portugal on uh, Sunday. Just your thoughts on. Uh, yeah, no, uh, Fiji Day this weekend, eh? and uh, it's a special game for us as well. Uh, this is our final this weekend. If we win, we qualify. If we lose, then we pack our bags and go home. So, boys are ready, determined for a good, uh, good game on uh, Sunday. I know you think you mind the players of family of who you do it for, why, and also mentioned to uh, the team about um, these fans who go to Great Lambs to uh, watch uh, you at uh, this uh, World Cup. Does that drive uh, the team as well in, in a way? Yeah, I think it boosts our motivation as well, uh, who we represent and the people back home and uh, the struggle they go through to go get the internet to watch us is uh, special and really touch the heart of uh, every player and uh, to remind them of uh, what the people back home are going through just to go and watch us on the field. Uh, for that, I ask them to keep that in their heart, in their mind, to go out there and uh, play their hearts out because uh, of those people, they do sacrifice to go up and have the internet to watch the game. So, well, what's different this week compared to the previous week from a coaching perspective? 
Um, obviously, we had a few things to work on uh, last week after the after the Georgia game. Uh, Georgia obviously came out and tested us in certain areas, and especially in that first half. And the boys, to their credit, came uh, answered that, answered those questions and managed to scrape out a win. So we've worked on the, the things that obviously we need to do to to get our best performance out. So we got, we went back to basics this week, and uh, you've been really concentrating on that. Any other questions? Yeah, just last time Fuji qualified for the quarterfinals was in France. Is there a special vibe now that you're about to qualify for the quarters in France again? Yeah, we do. We, uh, it's a special place, France, for us. You know, regardless of the of the matches, we've got a really deep connection with uh, France, the people, obviously the players. I, I lived here 11 years, Weiss has been here, probably the same now. Um, the boys have got a real connection with France, the people have got a connection with the Fijians through rugby, so it's a common language. So yeah, we've really loved uh, being here. Um, so yeah, we, we, we're looking forward to that support on the weekend. It's been, uh, yeah, it's been a fantastic journey. And do you have any expectations in terms of who you might play in the quarterfinals? No, we're worried about Portugal. So, well, uh, we, we've we've had that uh, mindset right from the beginning. What, what's the what's the what's the mission in front of us in Portugal this weekend? Uh, we're showing them all the respect with our preparation, uh, and to look past that would be a bit disrespectful. So we understand that it's going to be a really tough match. They're playing really well, and uh, yeah, we, we're really looking forward to playing them. And. Can you give us a word on Portugal? Um, maybe who were not, who people did not expect to play that well in the World Cup. What did you think of what they, they they've done so far? I think those expectations are <clears throat> probably because they've not been in the in in the media that much with their matches. But I've watched them since we knew that we were playing them in the pools, and they they play a uh, great brand of rugby. Got some great coaches with Patrice uh, Lajeske. They uh, they play rugby. Uh, with a really good spirit, uh, like to keep the ball alive, uh, dynamic, get to the edges and stuff. Like that. So we've, they, uh, we we know it's going to be a really really tough match, and they, they deserve all the credit that they've uh, that they've earned in this World Cup. Right, any more questions? Um, well, you mentioned that you are only one bonus point on this match, or like out of the group, sorry, despite the fact how you approach it. No, no, we were just going out there to perform. We want to perform to our best of our ability, and um, if we perform, uh, hopefully that will take care of the results. So we don't, we can't start looking at certain things. Obviously, during the match, if things start to pan out, that way you can look at it. But we, we just worried about going on the field and performing and putting your best foot forward. All right, that brings us to the end of the first part of the press conference. Coach and captain, you can now. Okay. Hiyo mataifa au gavu na kutana kalo na vikazibi. Hiyo maro tano sarvalebo. Shini mai watarudu tu ilishta liki na baba rau. Wapi nevi na kutana coach na winding taki na vivu mbauti. Mai kaje pekee na. Wah bini nak tengah na bimbang buci, biar tu nolis leis, na bukan ni sama ikhlas betul ada kau mustar, same mindset ngah, na dah kau cuma nolom ni tim, winning mindset, na wasang kau mumpet na nunggu nunggu ingat todok, mungkin bukan na tim yang nama tau. Iyo, nito reza manda na nito pulo pochika lindo na ngitu bina kosi libi Georgia, Romero, Billing Australia talo na matini bima ma. Iyo, nito papa ro talo kito sa papa ro bina atum kito na sulindo na ngitu bina bi pochika lena. Sata. Lili, 
Iyo am toman tawo am nakta nakulur ni sol tan dan opportunity <hesitation> dina ni sol mebe ona mate ni sotaki wele si yo sing sar ni <hesitation> lebna tem ni gito yo nakta ki nakulur ni or ni total opportunity be nak sol lebe ngona sotaki putukali <hesitation> sasara bachik mena gito has tadi tak chik mena tutu ona gito ra <hesitation> ni tak nuna parta kan dona gito be nakana singa tamu na <hesitation> So we got a strategy to play against uh, Portugal. We know they want to play as well, but uh, it's the only team that stands on our way just to get a good, uh, to qualify for the playoffs. So 
Uh, yeah, we're going to match them in the. If they want to go over wide, then we're going to match them with a the playing game as well. Destiny in your own hands. It does not depend on any other result that you can qualify. Yeah, uh, I think for for us, um, as uh, the boys mentioned, um, we take uh, Portugal series, and yeah, we we, we take this as a, as our final. And um, I think if if we, we we work together as a team. Uh, um, Result will will take care of itself, and yeah, just it's confident in the team and 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 let the, the result take itself. And you can make it in the top eight uh, of the ranking for the first time in 2007. Not only can you qualify for the for the quarterfinals. Do you think about that too? Because it might have an importance for the future World Cup. Um. Yeah. As coach said, uh, we not uh, look. Uh, over Portugal, uh, we take this uh, game as our final, and then and then uh, we, we we continue from there. Okay, and maybe last question, right? Um, what's the learning from the defeat against Uruguay, who was also like Portugal in search for their first victory as well? Because Portugal are going to play their own final too. Against okay, so Uruguay. Was the learning from the defeat against Uruguay in 2019 because they were in the same situation? He, he was not, was not the, uh, part of the team. Oh. Part of the team. Yeah, uh, you, it's always a great learning to uh, the last World Cup. Uh, like uh, you mentioned, like all the teams are really good right now. Mm -hmm. Participating in the World Cup, everybody stepped up to another level, uh, giving a big team all the all the money they can they can go for.